what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back spartacus blood and sand season one episode two is here today and you guys are super excited for this one because i mean it's the first time that well not the first time but let me keep, stop let me stop that right now before i say some shit that ain't true anyways this is one of those times where i guess you guys I'm watching something that you guys really enjoy and it'll bring a new viewers to the channel um, because immediately as this came as this came out, even people that weren't watching TV shows and anime on my channel was here. <laughs> you know, even some of the, mu the people who has been watching my music reactions has said, wow, he's doing this. OK, right, let's do it. OK, so I'm definitely all for it, man. I'm all for it. It seems like a lot of people love this series when it was going on. So, and I'm hyped up. First episode, I'm hyped up. It's on point, man. It's on point. I like it. I like I like the gore. <laughs> it's gory, but I, I I like it in a in a in a squeamish kind of way. <laughs> I like it. But uh man, that dude, he real salty, ain't he? He real salty. He want he wants the skills spartacus so bad um some of you guys have informed me that the question that i was asking about the spartans or whatever um is that at this time period spartan did it did not exist as a country anymore so that's why i keep saying the thatians or the thatians or <laughs> i still can't say it right but anyways man we're gonna jump into this second episode there's nothing much i don't know why i have two of my logos here <laughs> I just realized that it's there. And I took it off. Anyways, I, it's not. It's just supposed to be that other one. But anyways, man, Spartacus Blood and Sand episode two from season one. Let's get it, and I will see you guys right back here for the review. Okay. See ya. What's going on, guys? Welcome back. For the review of Spartacus Season 1, Episode 2, man. That was a really good episode training montage. Everything you wanna you want in the beginning of a series. You wanna see that you know that grittiness about the show and you know great, great stuff. <laughs> great stuff, to be honest. The one thing I wanna tell you guys is that Manu. Manu, I think his name is Manu Bennett. I'm pretty sure it's Manu Bennett, right? One of my favorite actors. Guy that plays Crixus. Um, he's obviously way younger. Or maybe it's just them making him look younger. Um, but I've I like him in everything he does. I remember the first time I was introduced to his character with um him as an actor was in um Arrow. Right, he plays Deathstroke in Arrow. If you didn't know, um, in the Arrow verse, he plays Deathstroke. Right, um, loved them in the series. Then he went on to do this other series. I've seen him in movies too, but he went on to see uh to do this other series that I don't that I think it got canceled in like the second season. Um, was him? He played. Uh, I can't remember the name of the series, man. But he was playing. Like a druid or something. A druid? I think that's what they call it. A druid? He was. It was like this magical world or whatever. With elves and all this other stuff. And I'm always up for anything that I hear that he's going to be in. Because he's... In, his acting is off the chain. I love him. And he has a lot of range to, to his acting too. And I like to see him in badass stuff. Because in real life, I think he's a black belt in something. I think... I don't I don't remember exactly, but I don't know his thing, but I know he does that stuff. He's like the um why is it when I'm trying to remember actors' name? I always have this huge problem. But I know their names, but it's just that the the names just can't come to my mind immediately when I'm trying to remember them. Um so he reminds me of a lot of these actors like Steven Seagal, you know what I'm saying, Jackie Chan, that they are you know, martial arts experts in real life, you know, and they just bring that stuff to the movies, Michael Jai White, you know, Bruce Lee, 
these guys are, you know, the epitome of what you want to see in action. You know what I'm saying? And they could, you know, basically like choreograph a whole fight scene themselves. So, but he does different things. He does different things. And he's a great actor and I love him and everything. So him being in Spartacus is a bonus for me, to be honest. So, um, this episode as I said, the guy that plays Batiatus or Dominus as they he wants to be called, right? He's I've seen him in a lot of things. He was in Agents of Shield. Um, you know, he always plays a character that always goes from kind of bad to good in some ways. Um, so I've never seen him in an overall bad he's he always plays a likable character. That's what I want to say. A likable character. Even if even if he's somewhat bad or, you know, his motives are always somewhat good. So it's like you always find yourself kind of rooting for him at the end. You know what I mean? So when it comes on to him, like I love his characters in, in anything I watch him. And so, um, so I, I don't know if he just loves playing those kind of roles or whatever, but I love the fact that he decided to reason with, Spartacus, even though he doesn't want anybody to call him that name, you know, that name is going to stick. So the, the guys in the brotherhood, they're assholes to the recruits, man. Like you would think they would try to, you know what I'm saying? Like at least make them feel welcome in a certain way. I guess they don't like um, Spartacus because he's, you know what I'm saying? He did all that in the arena and he's acting like, oh, he's this big shot because everybody's talking about him, whatever. So there's reason to kind of teach him a lesson that he's not all that. And really and truly, he didn't really beat Crixus, to be honest. He didn't really beat him, beat him. It's more of like he tripped him up. He tripped him up and he fell off the thing. You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't say he beat Crixus. Crixus was beating that ass. You know what I'm saying? So he basically just kind of tripped up Crixus. He fell off the thing and couldn't move because he basically probably hurt his back falling from that height. It's because the other guy before him, um, I think he fell and broke his neck. It looks, it looks like he fell and broke his neck. Um, but it's interesting, man. Um, Legat, Legatus, <laughs> as I want to call him, is the Legatus, you know, he is, or, or G Gaber, Gaber, I, I think is his right name, he's, an, he's, he's just salty, man, and I hopefully, hopefully he gets to reunite with Sura, Spartacus, that is, I'm really hoping that I mean, if, if, if he's talking the truth that he let his men rape her, man, this guy is, he's going to be the character I hate the most on the show. Cause he, you know, I just, that stuff, man, you know, and I know, you know, it's not so far from the truth of what used to happen back in the day. You know what I'm saying? They just, they do whatever they want with women. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I'm glad, you know, the woman had that conversation is, you know, both of them were having that conversation and they were saying that you know, you know, about women being slaves and you, you know what I mean? Like, um, but you know, they, they basically stay in the shadows and does things, you know, that they want to get done as I just bit my lip for no damn reason. But anyways, this episode was good, man. I like the whole, from beginning to end, there was a purpose to every scene that happened. And I like when shows do that because it keeps the pacing moving forward and it keeps the pacing at a pace that keeps you interested because if it's a scene where you don't care about, like, what's the sense? You know what I mean? So, um, definitely, man, there wasn't, I mean, in the beginning, there was a lot of nudity. These guys were just walking around with the dick out. It's, it's just wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm a man. I don't like to see other dudes dick. I, I just, I don't, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, um, porn is something I used to watch. I don't watch porn anymore. I don't, I, I, that's not what it is. I just felt like I was just too addicted to it. So I just stopped. Well, it took a while to stop, but <laughs> you get what I mean. But anyways, man, um, when it comes down to that frontal nudity, it's not like, I, like I'm going to, 
look away. It's going to be there. It's going to be in front of you, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It just gets to the point. Like, that first scene when they were, like, showing him and the, him and the wife. And I'm like, that's why I'm like, in the last episode, I was saying, man, it's no way that these people don't be having sex bro like you know what i'm saying like they're naked she pulling it up she grinding so hard on that dude how the hell do you keep a sane mind and not go crazy do not get an erection in, in a situation like that they gotta tell me their secret because <laughs> you know what i'm saying they gotta tell me what's happening there because a lot of times you might we as men in a situation where we don't want to do it and we kind of force, not to say that you're being raped or anything, but sometimes women do want to have sex and we don't. And we just got to, it just happens because we're more physically turned on than, you know, women can say no. And, you know, no matter what you do, they might not, you, you know what I'm saying? Like they won't get turned on. It's just for us, it's just like every, anything physical can, you know, make us, you know, stand up <laughs> but anyways enough of that thank you guys so much for tuning in man um i'm ready i'm ready for the rest of this season already man this this show is really good i like the aesthetics some of the green screen stuff they could stop i think they i think most of the stuff was filmed in a in a studio it just really seems that way like the sets were filmed in a studio like they couldn't find a location to do certain things so it's like and that's one of the things that differ when it comes on to this and probably shows like hbo hbo's um rome and game of thrones they actually filmed a lot of that stuff on location um on locations so it just seems a little bit more organic more real but for this is so it's so obvious that they're using green screen for a lot of the backdrops and stuff like that it's very obvious but that's not to diminish the 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 aesthetics of the show is really nice um and the 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 um the graphics the special effects and stuff like that so that's not to take away from that it's, it looks still really good but it's still if you are, have the trained eye you will see that that stuff is not you know it's green screen so um, thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. Um, looking forward to more Spartacus. Hopefully you guys enjoy this episode and I will talk to you guys later. Remember to like, remember to subscribe if you're new and go watch that first episode that I already put out. Make sure you check out the playlist that these are in the Spartacus playlist. Okay. So leave a comment in the comment section and I will see you guys next time for some more Spartacus.